Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches Math 7. This is lesson 6.4 on the percent equation. Now, uh, yesterday we did, or the previous lesson, we did this using a proportion. I prefer this method um, a lot more, actually. To me, this is this is how I think about it. And, uh, and then hopefully uh, you'll find one way that you like better than the other. This is, uh, the essential question is, how, how can you use an equivalent form of the percent proportion to solve a percent problem? Yeah, we're just going to put it into a, a multiplication equation here. And I think that's a, I think that's a little bit easier. Um, let's find out. Which one do you like better? Okay, so A is, okay, the percent equation. Here we go. A is P percent of W. So A is, which is equals. When you think of of, you should think multiply. So A, again, that's the part of the whole, equals uh, what percent of the whole. Okay. So when you, when you multiply the percent times the whole, you get that part. Okay, so that's how I always think of this. To get a part of the whole, you multiply the percent times that whole. And we actually kind of did this in the, in the previous chapter, um, but let's see if let's see if any of this kind of strikes a chord with you. So write this down: a equals p times w. And this has to be in decimal form, by the way. This percent in decimal form. Okay, so let's try a couple examples here. And again, I like this way a little bit better. Again, this is the way I think about it. Um, I think it's a little bit easier because you don't have all those uh, fractions. But uh, let's take a look here. Okay. So what number is 24% of 50? Now, again, we, we know that they're going to give us two numbers. And then the third number is one that we're going to find. They give us the percent the of 50. The of means what? Multiply. So it's going to be of 50, right? So a number equals 24%. And we're going to put this as a decimal. Point two four times fifty. There you go. So this one is pretty straightforward. All we have to do is multiply point two four times fifty. Oops, there we go. Point two four times fifty. You get twelve. So 12 equals 24% of 50. Oops, I did this. I wrote that backwards. Sorry. A equals 12. Because multiplying those two things together give me 12. Okay, so this is what we're finding. This first one, finding the part. We're finding the titles are up there. We're finding A. Okay. So pause this. Give this one a try. It's going to set up the same way. What number? We're looking for the part, right? The of 200, that tells us that this is the whole, right? The of tells us where that we're dealing with a whole there. Okay, pause the video. See if you get an answer for that, and I'll join you on the next screen. Now we're going to find a percent. So 9.5 is what percent of 25? So, um... Again, the of 25 tells us that goes here. 9.5 is the part. Okay, so 9.5 equals P times 25. So to solve for P, I divide both sides by 25. So 9.5 divided by 25 0.38. Now remember, this is in decimal form, but they're asking us a question about what percent. So the answer here is 38 percent. Okay, so I'm going to convert back. 
convert back to 38 percent okay and here's like a little here here's an example here so on the top on the top of this little diagram here we're going from zero percent to a hundred percent so zero on the left hundred on the right now because we're dealing with of 25 here's the 25 so if here's 40 percent the question is um, I'm sorry if here's 9.5 which is uh, down here 9.5 We can see that according to this diagram, it's going to be just to the left of 40%, and we get 38%. So this looks out. This looks good. Okay, try this one again. Uh, we're looking for the percent, and it's going to set up the same way. So it's a little practice here. Pause the video if you need to, and then when you're done, join me at the next screen. Example three. Now we're going to find the whole. 39 is 52% of what number? All right, so this one, the is means equals of what number tells us that the whole is unknown because, again, that's times the whole. It's going to be unknown. So 39 equals 52%. So 0 0.52 times our unknown whole. There, we set it up. Now we just solve. I'm going to divide both sides by 0.52. So if I'm going to divide by a number smaller than 1, but dividing by a number less between 0 and 1, by a fraction essentially, this should come up bigger than 39, which is kind of what we're looking for here. These will cancel. So uh, 39 divided by 0.52. Seventy-five. We get seventy-five. So seventy-five is the whole. Okay. So in this type we're finding a whole. Um, positive. If you need to, you're going to try this one. And again, of what number? So we're looking for the whole because this is of this of the whole number. We're looking for the whole in this case. Okay. So uh, pause the video. When you move forward, you'll have a chance to put your answers in. And then you'll be done. Thanks a lot and have a great, great rest of your day. Bye-bye.